Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and I got something in from Kickstarter the other day that I backed. It's nice to actually get something from a crowdfunding campaign every once in a while. This is called the Hyperdrive, and what this thing is is a little mini docking station for the new MacBook Pros that have the USB Type-C slash Thunderbolt ports on board. So if you uh, bought one of these things, you know these are the only ports you get. Uh, the MacBook 15s and the 13s have these now, and uh, this little device is compatible with both. It just docks right into the side of it here, and you get a whole bunch of extra ports available to you uh, without having to lug around extra cables to get them. Now we're going to take a closer look at how this works in just a second, but I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this thing with my own funds, so all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. All right, so let's take a closer look at the hardware now, and unfortunately, just like everything involving USB Type-C these days, it's a little complicated to explain as to what you're getting, and the packaging actually is a bit misleading on this. So uh, they say that this is a 50 gigabit per second device, which is technically true, but the reality is you're not really going to see any kind of speed like that. So it does have a Thunderbolt connector here on the left-hand side, and uh, this is strictly a pass-through. In other words, this plug here is just passing through Thunderbolt over to this one, and it will work like your Thunderbolt port does in your Mac. You can plug power into it up to 100 watts. You can uh, connect up an external display or uh, hook up a Thunderbolt device, no problem. But this port is not Thunderbolt. It is just regular USB Type-C and it only supports USB data, no video uh, and no power, so just data. And it's only going at five gigabits per second and it shares that bandwidth with all the other stuff on here also because it's just a basic USB 3 hub that is built in that is going through the USB bus on your Mac. So do not expect to get a lot of functionality out of the second port here. You're kind of giving up uh, one of your Thunderbolt ports essentially to uh, get USB ports, but you are gaining the access of a larger USB port along with a card reader. So you've got a uh, micro SD card slot up here, a, a full size SD card slot there, but you do have to remember to put your cards in upside down and they don't go in all that easily. So they do kind of stick in pretty hard and uh, you want to make sure you get it in the right way, which is upside down. Uh, this card, the micro SD card goes in right side up. The card reader works fine. It's, it's passable and works, but again, you're going over the USB bus here, not Thunderbolt. You've got two USB 3.0 ports here, again, sharing that five gigabit per second bus. I did connect up my external hard drive to it and ran a disk speed test and in the SSD uh, was reading and writing at the same speed it does when it's typically just plugged right into the Mac directly so uh, no issues there but I think if I started doing other things uh, on the device here maybe hooking up a second hard drive and also doing a stress test on that uh, they would then have to share the bandwidth and the speed would go down so just keep that in mind remember you're not getting 50 gigabits per second here across the entire device on this side you've got an HDMI output but again because this is running over USB type C uh, you're only going to get 30 hertz out to your monitor and many monitors of course run at 60 hertz at 4k uh, so if you are running 4k displays you're going to get better support out of the thunderbolt port here than you will out of the hdmi because you're going to be locked in at 30 hertz at 4k 1080p i believe will go to 60 hertz but 4K is going to be locked down at that uh, 30 hertz level because it's not using Thunderbolt, but it is just using USB Type-C. I'm also not crazy about how it connects. Now, the color does match up pretty nicely with the uh, MacBook, depending on the light that you're in, so they did get pretty good at matching that. There are two different colors available, but it doesn't hold itself in all that well. So, for example, if I uh, stick in the card here, let me try to get the card in here. It's a little hard to get it in here because it sits so close to the uh, the desk here. If I want to pull the card out, it's actually easy to disconnect the entire device here, as you can see. It really doesn't snap in. Uh, so you will have issues, especially if you have your hard drives connected. You want to be careful not to just pull this thing out uh, when you're taking things in or out of the device because it's easily uh, possible here to pull out the entire uh, hub here uh, just by tugging on that cable. So it's really not keeping itself in here all that securely. I think I would have preferred if this uh, device existed, and I think they do have one, uh, just existed as a uh, cable uh, that I could plug in and have the dock separate from the rest of the unit here because it really doesn't hold itself in all that well. Even when I was tugging at the HDMI port earlier, it was just uh, kind of partially pulling itself out of the uh, MacBook here, and that's really not a good thing uh, to have this thing continually popping in and out. It does at least light up here to tell you that it's plugged in properly, so I guess that's pretty good, but you definitely want to be careful with this thing, especially when you're uh, plugging things in or unplugging things, and that's kind of the purpose of having a dock is to be able to do that easily. Uh, this doesn't really achieve that for me, but it does work. I mean, the speeds are fine. Everything works as it's supposed to work, but um, it's not all that well executed. Now, it does uh, sit pretty 
slightly flush to the bottom of the MacBook here. Um, as you can see here, it does sit a little bit lower than the uh, side of the device, but the curve here is still higher, so uh, it will not touch the surface of the desk. Your, your feet will hit it first there, but uh, that's what it looks like on the side there. So it is convenient, I guess, but um, I really am not too crazy about the lack of the secure fit into the side of the MacBook here, and that is my biggest gripe with it. Just know what you're getting into, that you're not getting really a Thunderbolt device here. You're getting a USB device that uh, will add some functionality and some missing ports that were not on your MacBook, but uh, will not deliver the performance that they're kind of advertising with it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.